Why is it we have this longer? This guy's wardrobe is worth half a million dollars. I'm going back to the beard. Let's go. <laughs> I have a Ken doll torso and a Kardashian booty. I'm a lover of all things designer. Whoa. My what is that even? Like, ball bag Cena? Balenciaga. Oh. Balenciaga. I'm pretty sure that's, like, ball bag Shiaga. <laughs> I'm a lover of all things designer. My wardrobe is worth. So, remember Slungy? Last few videos, I've been telling you that when these all clothes are designed, even your purple fluffy handbag was designed by someone. Even if you pick it up at Walmart, someone designed it. Uh, he is trying to say expensive, but he. Yeah. Five hundred thousand dollars, or even more. I have a special announcement. Are you watching? No way. There's Hi guys, a, you won't believe number six, guys. Stay for it. Hit the subscribe button. But first, I'm gonna go get some Botox at AFL Beauty. So come inside. These things. Mm -hmm. These things. Hi. What Jenkins keeps in his bag? How are you? I'm thinking poison splat, poison poison gas splash on those girls when he gets bothered of when he can't be bothered with them anymore. I don't think that's what it was going to be, Slongy. Like, that would be something that is definitely against terms of service, I would think. I was thinking maybe Mr. Snuffleupagus is drunk if he wasn't using it. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> Good! Perfect timing! The champagne's ready for you! Awesome! <laughs> so, Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. Famously green and fluffy. Oscar the Grouch is... Little Oscar. sister. Little sister. I'm not saying... Oscar Grouchy's little sister died. Maybe she did. Maybe she was turned into she, a bag. She was probably shaved, and then, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all. Perfect timing. The champagne's ready for you. Awesome. What you can get champagne if you go for that? Thank you. Are you ready to get Always. Slongy, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, I am I'm going for a Brotox. A fashion student, a badass. I have a Ken doll torso and a Kardashian booty. And would you like some champagne? Yes, I would yeah, love of course. Some. You have to give me so experience, my love. Okay, Slongy, we we have to uh, skip back a little bit because uh, there's a standard part of our videos. And would you like some champagne? And uh, what do we think his job is? Model, absolutely a model. I uh, now I'm feeling some Instagram here. Maybe something more grown up. Maybe he. We're just gonna judge based on he skinned. Oscar the Grouchy's little sister and turned her into a handbag. <laughs> Maybe he's also a sugar baby. Yeah. We don't know yet. We don't know. I mean, that's a small Cheers. bottle of champagne. <laughs> it's so good to have you back. Oh, she'd already I sparked like hers before it. he started. <laughs> She's like, she had a few mouthfuls before he came over. I do Botox every three months just to keep up with myself because I love to look perfect. I want to look like a... Every three months. Okay, mm. so... Do we... So if we look at him... Jijim, whatever he is... Uh, do we look at him and think he is perfect? No. Is... No. 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 We don't, no. right? No. He, he, I mean, like, who would ever have a Kim... Uh, a Cardassian booty and whatever their thing that he... Kind of torso. Yeah. His torso's made of plastic. That's all <laughs> Probably true. Time. Brotox is just Botox for me. So in other so so words, it's just Botox, but you're trying to make it sound unique or more appealing to people. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not buying it. Okay, Slongy, you probably didn't notice this, but there is a network connection that is halfway up the wall. Like, who would ever install a network connection that far up the wall? No one, right? You know, people, fans, you don't come here to learn these, science. People are getting these surgeries. <laughs> So good too. Oh, you're welcome. He was speaking to me, right? Yeah. He's like, I love yeah. what you're doing with the double chin. Botox is not a thing. It's just Botox with another name to make it sound more appealing to men. And I, he also said, are you growing this hair out? Like it fell out, right? And new form of Botox that's a six-month one, so you only have to come twice a year. You oh. don't have enough seeing your ass. <laughs> loves it. So I'm about to She's going to Botox his ass? <laughs> 
Good, maybe it'll pop. <laughs> like a balloon. Monthly, I spend about five thousand dollars to upkeep my room. I literally. Shouldn't he be like closer to handsome? Like for five grand a month, right? Like he should be. Or maybe he was really ugly before it, and then the five grand a month makes him look average. So yeah, yeah we don't know the starting point, right? So I. Step skincare routine. I work out five times a week. I get my nails done like twice a week. I get a haircut twice a week. He blows his nose twice a week. Me too. Me too. Haircut twice a week. He scrubs his head because he's actually bald underneath that wig. Twice a week. You know, how I mentioned how vanity is unattractive, Slongy. Like yeah. spending like two days a week having your nose done, your hair done. Like, could he use that time better? Yes. I would think so. There's a lot of steps to keep up with myself. Since you guys last saw me, I got my round two BBL, and no, I didn't listen to my friends. I'm thinking of getting another BBL surgery. I'm kind of concerned for you. I feel like I have to be that friend that kind of has to bring reality into it. My biggest goal is to be the next. Glenda, Glenda, Glenda. You're we're, right. We're, she was right, but how often does Glenda, until the camera crew is there, ever introduce reality? Like the, the one thing we know about Glenda's is none of them ever introduce reality unless there's a camera crew, right? I mean, that's just, everyone knows that. Next, Mel Kim Kardashian. With the round two BBL, I would say I've spent over $120,000 on my life. It seems like Thank you could have so just been much. eating lots oh, of fatty great. stuff and been all natural in the ass. You look good. You look awesome. Thank you so much, Candace. Yeah, you don't need it. You're going too far. I appreciate how when someone has ambition, but this is just this is ridiculous. It's absurd. It, absolutely, yeah. I'm doing a photo shoot because I have a special announcement. So yes. Are you about to tell? Come on, tell me I'm your friend. Here's a special announcement that I bet no one knew. This guy's a bit crazy. I was I suspected, but I didn't know. <laughs> and he shaved Oscar's little sister. And he's a crappy so, BMW. Multicolor speedy Louis Vuitton. Fashion has always been a big. Oh. Always been a big passion of mine ever since I was little. I would literally wear my sister's. And he and he skinned a snake to make it into high heels. I mean, if you're killing Oscar's little sister, you, you may as well. His pet too. I mean, it was her pet. She wasn't there like to keep it alive. So maybe, maybe we don't know if that snake wants to become shoes, do we? bikinis before she would get home from school and then she would be so mad at me <laughs> that's because you never went to my school my style is very luxurious minimal and sleek i have very expensive okay. luxurious minimal are words that are combating each other so we should not use them together unless we're saying luxury is not minimal yeah <laughs> The most expensive thing in my wardrobe is... We're going to uh, fact check false on that. Uh, expensive does not necessarily mean better. Like Versace. Yeah, it just means you traded more money in exchange for this thing that you wish people Which to might, see. Which might actually be lower quality. Absolutely. Often it is lower quality. Uh, mm. Depending on how you judge quality. There is always less expensive. More you know it's kind of funny, fans. I'm here wearing, you know, like you know, like a hundred and fifty dollar uh, polo shirt, and I'm making fun of this guy. And <laughs> like, you're still a cheap date in comparison. I, I yeah, I am because I pay for the date, so it costs any, anyone I want to date with nothing. Or I suspect he gets paid to go on dates. Just today, saying it. So just throwing it there. Top. I might style it with the crystal wing pants. Oh, the old crystal wing pants. pants? So we can kind of talk about everything. Wow. OMG, look who it is. Hey, Blue. You look so good. Cool. <laughs> OMG, look who it is. The well, person is we expected to arrive. Imagine that was like the I'm UPS guy coming amazing. up with a delivery. <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> I'm very confident and just have the best looks all the time. So I'm kind of excited to see what he has in store. So don't be UPS silly. And then pulls out a gun. He's like, I'm taking you out. I was thinking more along the lines, Slungy, that. Kim works for, what's the guy's name? The Kardashian butt guy. Uh, 
so she has to be polite because she likes that he pays for her. <laughs> and he thinks she's her friend. Oh, we need to pick out an outfit for my photo shoot. The photographer is about to be here. I love uh... Yeah, this I love the things you laid out already. Like these Balenciaga <laughs> butterfly glasses. Yeah. So Sluggy, you, you definitely wouldn't have noticed this. Right, so he puts out outfits. She's come over to give her opinion. He's already picked the outfits. So she has a table where, goodness, these are the things he picked out. Not the rest of the half million dollar wardrobe. And then and she's like, oh, you like the things you picked out? And he's like, how did you know? How did you know I really loved this outfit? Well, it's not because, like, you know, like, she's probably doing, like, some witchcraft or something, but, yeah, you already picked the outfit. Balenciaga butterfly glasses. Yes. You know, like, this the ones it. Kim wears. Yeah, this is so you. Yeah. I love this. <gasps> so bomb. But I was also thinking, like, with these, like, with the Crocs, the Balenciaga Crocs. Oh. I mean, yeah, as Crocs so, like, go, thinking, like, those the wing look like, like every other pair of Crocs right? I've ever seen. Like I'm sure he picked them up in Target. <laughs> like slightly above average Crocs. Yeah. Oh, they're hot Crocs with a heel. It's like the Crocs tails well, like sticking out. Now they're quite literally above average. <laughs> but only slightly. <laughs> oh, those are some hey, ugly glasses. I'm not excited, Cory. So, I'm releasing my fashion line very soon, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So, stay tuned. The fashion Did line he just blow us a kiss? Cory, we do not fashion. know each other well enough for I've that. Mrs. Stu has rules. I've been working oh. on this one for about six months. Cory always brings this really great fashion forward energy every time we shoot. Okay, so we're going to uh, say uh, Louis Harvard. Um, Photographer is also hired by Cory, so he's got to say nice stuff. Do you think I would, if I, like, uh, if this is like the Stu's life where, like, um, someone who worked for, like, sorry, my boss's, his boss's life, um, do you think when I was there as an employee, where I'd go, you know, I hate my boss is a, or I'd say, oh no, my boss is the greatest, because it might be on YouTube. As long as they might react to this, it might get 20, 30 views. <laughs> I'm so happy with how all the photos and videos came out today. I'm so excited to review them and post them for you guys. I know my followers will be so happy and excited that I'm finally releasing my fashion line. I feel like I truly help people be who they want to be. And I... Fact check. False. I help people not be scared to be themselves because I'm out here being myself. I'm bling life. Are we I'm, blinged on this life? I'm pretty sure you just blew me a kiss again, Slunga. So, are you blinged on this life, Stu? So, uh, Cory has found a way to make himself feel happy, That's make good. some money. That's good. Doesn't seem like he's hurting anyone. Probably not. Didn't change his pronouns partway through the video, so I didn't fuck that part up. <laughs> I think I'm Team Cory. I think I'm, I'm blinged on his life. Yay. So what, what, what's, your, what's your opinion, Slongy? 15. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> is it the Cardassian butt that's putting you off? Or is it the Barbie doll, uh, Ken doll body? Both work together. I mean, they work badly, right? It's kind of unusual shape. <laughs> they work together to make them on... They work together to make something absurd. And as the terms of service tell us, guys... We do not make fun of people based on class, creed, sex, gender, whether they're a hippopotamus, whether they're made of plastic. All of these things are part of what we do. Just the absurdities that exist outside our four walls that we like to bring to you and we can all have a chuckle together. Yeah. Anyways, fans, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and goodbye, everybody. Cherubom. And stew. stew.